Hey everybody and welcome back to Coffee with the Moms. It's Nicole today and today I have for you this scrumptious breakfast that I made for all the way back in Father's Day and I did find it on Pinterest but I cannot find it in my saved pins. I looked for like a half hour. I feel like sometimes I lose pins and then they come back but I do remember how I made it. Like it's a very simple, very easy um, recipe, very inexpensive, something great. It does make two... Um, quantity of like two amounts of these um and it was just such a great idea and like my son even ate them you know everybody just loved these and they were all gone by the end of the day or end of the morning I should say um but again it was very quick very easy I you know prepped the the night the night before with some of this stuff so I'll get right into it so the first thing you're gonna do is grab two cookie sheets put parchment down on each cookie sheet and then you're going to have two crescent roll cans and you're going to take them apart so just cut them however you do and then take them apart and then you're going to want to put them into a sun shape like I have here make sure you leave enough room in the middle because you will be kind of folding up the back the tiny corner and folding it under so you just want to make sure you have enough room don't do it too close then I had pre-cooked um, a pound of sausage prior the night before. So you're just going to want to put enough in there to kind of fill it up. Don't fill it up too much because, again, you're, you're going to want to wrap it up and you're going to have stuff flowing out of the sides. So just make sure you just use just enough. And then you're going to use cheddar cheese and put a little bit on top. Now, it did have a specific amount. I did not use the whole amount of cheddar cheese. So I just suggest just putting what you think is necessary and how much you would like so it's not overflowing. Then I had made scrambled eggs in the morning. You're, I used six large um, eggs and I did my milk and put the milk in there. You know how you make scrambled eggs with like salt and pepper, all that stuff. So again, I used six. I did have a little large eggs. I did have a little of the scrambled eggs left over. You're, again, put enough in there so you're not overflowing it. And then again, I used mozzarella cheese on top. It Again, it did have a specific amount. I did not use nearly as much. So again, I would just put as much as you would like. Um, or you can just do cheddar cheese again. It doesn't have to be mozzarella if you don't like it. So, you, Or it can all be mozzarella cheese. It's really, this is great about one of these recipes is that you can kind of make it your own. I do think that you definitely need the sausage in there though to fill it up. I don't think bacon would do it enough. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the tiny edge and you're going to wrap it under as gently as possible, wrap it underneath um, that big piece so that it all looks like a, a nice little circular like ring. And um, again, don't stress out about it too much because I did. I just took off whatever fell out. Um, but you got to remember that the crescents expand a little bit too. Um, I was a little nervous. I thought that everything was just going to fall apart and fall out of it, but it didn't. The cheese kind of held it together very nicely. Um, so don't stress out too much and whatever falls out of there, just take it off of the pan or leave it on, whatever you want to do. Then this is an optional thing, which I did do. Um, you take one egg and then you add a little bit of water, whisk it together and it's an egg wash. And you just do, gently, you want to paint it or like kind of just put it over the top of the crescent rolls and you put it in the oven for at uh, 350 for about 10 minutes I did and it came out awesome um, but every um, oven is different so make sure you just keep an eye on it until it's nice and golden brown and make sure that the crescents are completely cooked through and all the cheese is melted but here it is and then it was nice and easy to cut like I said everything stayed in there once it was all cooked and now if you like this brown look like the browner look on top like the crispier look do the egg wash if you don't mind it and you don't want it it's more of an aesthetic thing you don't need the egg wash I just did that because I wanted it to look like that but I hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you guys are notified anytime Lisa or I decide to post a video all right guys I hope you have a great day bye